The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as these in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility with the heart and not just with the lips and that people who listen listen with their heart not just with their ears come Holy Spirit come Holy Spirit Amen so dear brothers and sisters happy to be with you this uh, in this mass especially po sa mga may karamdaman this very moment at sa mga nag-aalaga health workers frontliners the caregivers essential workers we are with you and uh, today 19 September right uh, uh, the Don Don said 98 days before Christmas? 98 ba? O 95? 96? Ayun. Kung isang bagay lang, argument na. Hindi, ganito, hindi. <laughs> Ito po ang gospel ngayon. Ang ganda po. What were you arguing about along the way? Ano ba yung pinagtatalunan nyo kanina? That's what Jesus asked. And that's what Jesus asked all of us today. Ano ba yung mga pinagtatalunan nyo? Kasi mga iba, ang hilig, makipag-debate, pakita nila silang tama. Yung pangatao pong palaging gusto kong dapat tama, akong dapat tama. Somebody mentioned, perhaps you should think about it. Sometimes it's better to be kind than to be right. Yeah, you're so right all the time, eh, but you're so unkind. I think what the Lord is teaching us today is what for? Ano ba yung pinagtatalunan niyo yan? For example, itong COVID, ang dami po mga debate kung anong tama, anong gamot, anong dapat gawin, saan nagsimula ito. So, Nawawala na tayo tuloy. For example, yung 
ilang araw pa ba bago magpasko? Nagdebate na tayo ng nagdebate tungkol sa ilang araw bago magpasko. And we forget the main message. There is Christmas. There will be Christmas. Hope. Oh, meron po nga pong kwento yung uh, the teacher wrote sa cardboard ba ang tawag doon? A blackboard. <laughs> okay. Bakit yung blackboard hindi naman black? Green? Anyway, that's another argument. <laughs> Sinulat niya yung letter V-O-G-U-E. So, tinawag isang estudyante, you read this. Sabi ng bata, Vogue you. <laughs> anong, anong sabi ng, sabi ng teacher? Mali, wrong, no, you're wrong. Ma'am, Vogue you. No, no, no. You pronounce it Vogue. Without you. Ah, ganun ho ba? Oh, nagsulat ulit siya ng R-O-G-U-E. Oh, you read it. Rogue you. <laughs> Hindi nga. Rogue. Ay, nag, nag-explain na na nag-explain. Nag, yung teacher sa student, pero marami ring debate ng student. Finally, sabi ng student, okay ma'am, uh, Ang dami na po tayong kwan, debate, debate. Sige po. I will no longer arg <laughs> with you. <laughs> so, do not arg. <laughs> well, putting it lightly, but not uh, lightly, it's okay po. Healthy debate, etc. But to the point, lalong-lalo na kung ano, ano ang pinagdadabdatehan pinag-aawayan ng mga disciples. So Jesus asked them, what were you arguing about along the way? Ano bang pinag-aawayan nyo? Kanina ko pa nadidilig. Tahimik sila. Nakakahiya kasi. You know what they were arguing about? Sino sa kanila is the greatest? Sino bang magiging department of fun? Position ang pinag-uusapan. And here is the Lord who told them, focus on the mission, not the position. Siguro po yan ang malaking problema natin. Well, napakaaga. Ito na eh, nagsisimula na po. Who is the greatest in our country? Yan na po, May 2022 elections. Sana may sistema na lahat ng, wag muna pag-usapan ng posisyon. Tignan muna natin yung nag talaga. Then yun na lang. Kung wala siyang credentials na nag siya sa isang lugar, ganoon. Dapat sana, karapat dapat. Kasi iba na ngayon. Eh. To go to opposition, pera-pera lang, social media, whatever, ayos na. Eh, hindi na po yata. We we'll go back to what the Lord is telling us. Focus on the mission, not on the position. Huwag po natin kakalimutan yan, mga kapatid. Why? Ang ganda po, ha? there's one word na for me very significant sinabi ng Panginoon. What were you arguing about on the way? We are on the way. Naglalakbay lang po tayo. Sana po matanim sa isipan natin na we are not permanent. We're just on the way. After a few years, wala na tayo eh. So, anong iwanan natin? Anong gagawin? Yun ang napaka-importante po na huwag natin kakalimutan. And many, in many ways, itong COVID po, paalala sa atin lahat that life is short. Any one of us can go anytime. And you know, when it's happening already in your how in your home in your family in your friend among your friends wow iba na ito yes you're all just passing by now i share with you alam po niyo nung nagsimula yung pandemic community pantry yeah that's nice we, we have our own we share pero one day sa window ko 
may nakikita akong mga ibon, mga maya. So, I, I started a, a little community pantry for the birds. Kitang-kita ko sila, hindi na ako nakikita, sinalagyan ko ng bigas, gano'n. And yan na. It starts with one isang ibon lang. Nahanap niya, kumakain na siya. Pero nagtataka ako, after a while, nagdaratingan na. Ang gamamaya, the gangs all here. Mga sampu na sila, 20 nandun na. Inisip ko, siguro yung isa na yun, may nag-communicate siya, Hoy, mayroon dito, hali kayo, hali kayo. So, for me, very clear, hindi selfish. And I observed them. Oh, lahat nakakakain eh. Yung iba kumakain, mamaya atras. Papasok naman yung isa. Palitan. Oh, nakaka... <laughs> nakaka-heartwarming po. And I notice, wala pong isang nagtatagal na parang siya ang may karapatan, doon lang siya, na kahit pa hindi umaalis. No, they all go so that others can eat. Pag ubus na lahat, wala na talaga, masinop sila, ewan ko lang. After a while, alis na naman sila, maybe looking again. Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap, but your Father takes care of them. There is enough for everyone, kung hindi lang tayo selfish. If you only share, wala po talaga magugutom. I cannot imagine yung paghihirap po na mga wala nang trabaho, wala nang makain. And I also cannot imagine, baka mga iba dyan naman, yumaman dahil sa pandemic. Mga kapatid, we are all just on the way. We are just passing by. We could be gone in an instant. Tapos na, sayang. Ang pinakamalungkot po, pagharap mo kay Lord at the end of your life, and the Lord looks at you with sadness and says, You wasted it. Sinayang mo ang buhay mo sa sarili mo lang. That would be the saddest word we could hear from the Lord. I gave you time. You wasted your time on yourself. I gave you talents. It was all about you. Ginamit mo lang for your, your treasures. Wala kang pinamahagi. Sana po, sana po, we'll have no regrets in the end that we loved too little, too late. And paalaala po sa atin, especially, there's a beautiful line that says, for us on the way, when you run alone, that's a race. You're running a race. But when you run with God, that is grace. Sana po ang buhay mo hindi lang race, pataasan, pagalingan. May our life be filled with grace, aware that there is a God, and mindful, mindful, na may mga tao po along the way. Along the way, mga kapatid. And napaganda pong paalaala ni Lord sa atin. Remember? Who is the greatest among you? Hindi na sinagot ni Lord. Hindi sila makasagot. What did the Lord do? He took a child and placed it in front of them and said, whoever welcomes a little child welcomes me and the one who sent me. I don't know if you notice the word. He placed it. Hindi sinabing he placed him, he placed her. You know why? In the biblical days of Jesus, children and women were not counted as entities. Ganun kababa po ang pagtingin noon. Only the men were counted. Hi. And here is the Lord telling us, hey, he, a child is important. Women are important. Yan po, he empowers us, all of us. Kat sana po, sana po, let us not forget whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters who do it to the Lord. 
Oo mga kapatid, ah, give importance to everyone. Hindi ka lang mag-isa. Be mindful. So, two things po. Attitude natin, be humble to God. <laughs> Please be humble to God. Mayabang tayo sa Diyos. Marami sa atin, kung magsalita, walang Diyos. Marami sa atin, we don't even pray. Because we, need, we know everything. We have everything. Many of us do not listen. No, I'm, 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 ako, matalino ako. You know, it's all about, you know, I don't need all those. Because I can think. Ha. Or, many of us do not even obey Him. We sin. Alam na natin mali. Ginagawa pa rin. Kayabangan po. Please, magpakumbabat po tayo sa Diyos. And I hope ito pong pandemic is making us all more humble to God. That's the message. There is a God. You're not Him. You're not Her. And number two po, attitude natin, to be mindful of other people. Because if you're not mindful to them, you cannot even think of helping them and loving them. May mga tao po kasi, it's all about me. <laughs> Hello, mga kapatid. We are a team. We journey together. And one thing I, I cannot forget, may I share with you also, I had a dog, Bruno. Wow. I learned a lot from that dog. Very faithful, a real companion and friend. But there is one trait of my dog, a golden retriever, yeah. There were times no na matras ako kunwari, na apakan ko. You know, not even a bark, not even a bite. Aatras na lang siya, pupunta na lang sa likod. Oh my God, sabi ko. That is sa akin, that's humility. Pwede sanang normal lang sa aso, naapa ko, di kagating ka na, tawa lang ka. But I noticed he would just step aside. I don't know, but marami pa tayong dapat matutunan. Mahirap, mga kapatid, na-mention ko na po noon, bakit parang magulo ang buhay mo, hindi ka masaya? Three things. Number one, kasi ikaw siguro ay overthinking. Isip ka ng isip, you know. It's all about. Mayamaya, rewind ka ng rewind, forward ka ng forward. It's all here. Mayamaya, hindi ka na makatulog, worry ka na ng worry. Because you're operating always from here. We pray in this Mass for the grace to trust God more. If you trust God more, a lot of things you cannot solve in this world. Please, you say, Sana nga, ngayong gabi, bago ka matulog, sabi mo, Lord, sige ha, bahala ka na sa mundo. Matutulog na ako. <laughs> hey, there is a God. You're not Him. You're not Her. Number two, mga kapatid, bakit di ka peaceful? Bakit hindi ka masaya? Ah, baka dito. You're overhurting. Hindi ka malakalet go ng mga galit mo. Hindi ka makaforgive. Dami kang tampo. Dami kang mga sama ng loob. Marami kang mga hugot. Ang bigat, kapatid, be kind to yourself, please. Ano pong hingin natin kay Lord sa misang ito? Lord, give me the grace to forgive. Forgive na lang. Bahala ka na, Lord. Ang hirap, mag-forgive, no? Lalong-lalo na yung mga taong nakasakit sa akin. O lalo na yung mga taong napakayabang. I like you not to think of any person in your life right now. Na mahirap tawarin o ugali yan napakatapang mayabang. Okay? You know, the bottom line is this. Mamamatay din yun eh. <laughs> I'm not asking you sana mamatay na siya. Hindi. Mamamatay din siya. Mawawala din siya. So what do you do? Magpapa-apekto ka ba sa kanya? No, don't. This is where Christianity comes in. I just pray for that person. He is not God. 
She is not God. That kind of attitude. Okay, Lord. Everything is passing. Everyone is passing. Everyone is on the way. <clears throat> so don't pray na, oh, sana mamatay siya. Mamamatay siya. No need to ask for that, please. Huwag ka na makialam kay Lord. Huwag ka mag-suggest. No, God has His own time. We cannot take over. We cannot be the ones to decide who lives, who, who dies. God gave us the life. So, yan po. Pag pinagdasal mo na isang tao, naka-forgive ko na, magaan na rin. And the third thing is, why are you not happy? Bakit parang uh, walang peace sa buhay mo? Baka ikaw ay overfighting. Lahat tinapatulan mo. Wala kang pinapalampas. May debate. Ako dapat. May kaaway. Ako ang so... Hello. <laughs> ang hirap. Huwag naman po. And this is where you say, Lord, give me humility. Ito sa mga mag-asawa pala. Arg kayo ng arg. <laughs> Learn from the chopsticks, ha? Ito, inuulit ko. You know, basta united kayo, you're blessed by God. Hindi, hindi marupo because there is God. Keep that in mind. There is a God for all of us. There is someone who is right. So, huwag na tayong magyabangan kung sinong tama at We have to go back to Him, okay? Number two, tignan nyo. Paano paghawak ng chopsticks? Hindi mahigpit. Baka ikaw mahigpit ka sa iba, eh. Don't do that. Pagawak ng chopsticks po yung katamtaman lang. I hope you learn that. Parents, children, katamtaman lang. Pag magigigipit ka, baka lalong-lalong magipit. Di ba? Oh, one more thing. Yung chopsticks po, isa lang ang gumagalaw. Right? Isa tahimik lang. Oh. Yun. Mag-asawa. Pag galit yung isa, tahimik yung isa. Ikaw yun, husband. <laughs> and vice versa, di ba? Learn that. Otherwise, walang mangyayari. And, uh, of course, the message of the chopsticks for all of us is don't chop each other. Stick to each other. We have a journey. We're on the way. Focus on the final destination. So, mga kapatid, yun po sanang gusto ko lang uh, ipaalala sa atin, din, sa atin lahat Anyone wishes to be the first shall be the last and the servant of all. Kaya nga sabi, public servants. Please don't forget that. Ha? Yung pong servant. Yan po ang kailangan natin. Maglilingkod talaga. Public service. Hindi po self-service. Yes, Lord, may we be more trusting in you and may we be more humble to one another. And by the way, one more thing po. The Lord teaches us to be grateful. Like the children, mga bata po, marunong magpasalamat eh. May dalawang klaseng tao po na you will never be happy if you're not grateful. Ano po yung unang tao? Complaining people will never be happy. Why? They always have something to complain about. <laughs> Ang ganda-ganda na, pero may nakita pang mali. Ay, ay, ay. That kind of attitude, Lord, tanggalin na po niyo sa amin. Gratitude is the best attitude. Lord, help me to stop complaining. Number two, people also who are cannot be happy are comparing people. Yung kinocompare mo palagi sarili mo, bakit siya ganun, bakit sila ganyan? Oh, okay, ako, mas matas ako. Oh, wow. That kind of person will never be happy. Kasi instead of being grateful, you make others your standard. There's a line in the Desiderata that says, if you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be lesser or greater persons than you. So, mga kapatid, these are just thoughts as we go on. And... Kung minsan po, parang, Lord, bakit? Hanggang kailan ba ito? Naghirap na hirap na po kami. Or, Lord, bakit yung mga masasama, sila ang nagpro-progreso? I have always that, as that. But there was one line I was reading once, Padre Pio. I'd like to share this with you. Sabi ni Padre Pio, 
Do not let your soul be troubled at the sad spectacle of human injustice and sufferings. Even this has its value in the economy of events. May rason yan. Bakit meron pa rin suffering may injustice? Or maybe why you get the COVID? Why the others did not? I don't know. But you have to trust and say, Lord, you know you are in control. Today, let us just surrender again everything, everyone. Help. Lord, help us to be humble to you. And Lord, help us to be mindful of other people. To be kind. Just to be aware of what's happening around us. And Lord, help us to be good to ourselves. In other words, that we do what will give us true joy in the end. That we were not meant just for this world. You love us so much. You have planned something more beautiful. Help us to look beyond, Lord, what is happening now. And to believe that we are loved. Yun lang po. And special prayers, Lord. Especially yung mga kapatid naming nawawalan na ng pag-asa. Mga kapatid naming may karamdaman. Mga nawalan na ng trabaho. Mga kapatid naming tunay na nagmamalasakit sa kapwa. Frontliners, health workers, essential workers, caregivers. Lahat po. Salamat po. Maraming salamat. Lord, who is the greatest? You, Lord, are the greatest. Help us to be humble to you and to one another. Amen. Amen. And now, we profess our faith and pray.